everybody, Cindy Under here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, it's time to work in our Explorations of Me, and this is our last chapter for this year. And what we're going to talk about this month is gratitude. Um, what are you grateful for? And, you know, I think this is the time of year when we all like to look back and look at our accomplishments and look at our challenges and look and see what we've what we've done throughout the last year but here's what I'm gonna do um, I've actually started this because it's gonna take a couple more layers uh, I picked up some Omni gel actually I had to order it um, offline and what it is is it's for something's up here with my lights it's for a photo transfer sorry about that that was my chimes um, it's for a photo transfer, and what you do is you put a couple layers on, on the picture that you want to do a transfer of, and you do it horizontal, and then vertical, and then horizontal, and until you have this layer. Now, I just put another layer on here, so it's got to dry. Once this dries really well, then we'll take it, we'll flip it over, we'll wet the back of it, and we will... Um, be able to do a photo transfer so for one of the things that I am so grateful for is right here and that is my hubby the love of my life so I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to find what page I want to do this on let's see um, I don't really want to do it in the middle. I kind of want to do it toward the end. I don't know. I've been having this thing where I want to work on the end of my book. All right, let's do it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this up like so and put a big clip on it. First, I'm going to borrow this. Put that there. And we're going to put a big clip on it so that I have two sides to actually work on instead of you know they're pretty well even at this point I think is what I'm trying to say all right let's just get another piece of wax paper here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our background and we're gonna see what comes out as to what we are most grateful for this year I know it's been a crazy year of ups and downs that I do know Isn't this cool it's a little holder I got it from wish.com and it's a little holder that holds my phone isn't that neat? Anyways, get it out of my way. <laughs> it's falling apart. Stop. All right. Let me get my paints and stuff out, and let's see where we're going to go with this page. we got to get some gesso down here, and let's play. We'll be right back. All right, so what I've done, um, of course, you know, we're doing our explorations of me, so I needed to do some journaling. And I decided to keep my journaling on the outside, and of course it's non-legible, which is fine with me, because I know what it says. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with some collage. I don't want to cover up all of my writing, because I'd like to keep some of it so I can see it. So I'm going to leave this there. And I figured, what a great way to start then with a map. Um, really, what is our life? It's it's a course. It's a road map. We, we go through all these steps to live. And I don't know. I'm just, I thought a map looked good. So I'm going to go ahead and do some collage with some maps, with some book text. Um, this is actually a like a, oh, what do you call it? It's kind of like a tissue paper, but it's from uh, Christy Tomlinson. It was out of one of her kits I bought many years ago. It's got a bug on it. We don't want a bug. I'm not grateful for bugs. I don't like bugs. I know that sounds awful, but hey, sorry. Don't like bugs. Not a bug girl. That's from an old text. This looks like it's from an old dictionary. So we're just starting out with some collage and thinking about while we're doing this what we're grateful for. And like I said, the first thing is my hubs. He's he's been a blessing in disguise for me. He has helped me in so many ways. It's just crazy. So um, I am so grateful, and I'm so grateful for everything that he does for me. And the man would literally move mountains if I asked him to. He would try his best. So, um, I'm very, very lucky that way. 
Okay, so we got a little bit of book text down. I don't want to do a whole lot because I want to I want to try to kind of work with some of the white space. So let's see what we can do. Let's move this out of the way. I don't know why I got so much out. I really don't need all this. And this will go back in my little junk box over here. Okay. So now I also have these beautiful napkins that were sent to me in a happy mail and I just fell in love with them when I saw them. And what I want to do, look at these poppies, aren't they beautiful? So let's just get one down here. Now I normally don't use a whole lot of napkins and the reason being is because they like to tear really easy and that really bugs me. But we're going to use these because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And this one has script on it. See the script on the bottom? So that's going to be perfect right here. All right, and then I want some more of the flower. Let's do it right out of here. Look at that. How beautiful, just gorgeous. Now I am going to take, let's see, I want some more of this leaf, leaves. So I'm gonna take the leaves and put them right here. I'm just having fun. Let's put this right here. A little bit more. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this up and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is kind of dry. It's still a little bit damp in spots, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play around with some black and white gesso. I don't want, again, I don't want to cover this all up. I do want to keep some of the white space. So I'm just going to take an old card, this happened to be to a casino, and just start playing with some gesso. Throwing down a little bit of whiteness, more whiteness. And again, I'm not looking for a full coverage. I'm just looking to add some gesso to the page. So, I'm just going to play with it. Now, when we talk this month about being thankful, um, it's, you know, it's not about material things. There is so much more to be thankful than just, oh, I've got six kinds of paints and three paint brushes or whatever, you know. There's so much more to be thankful for. It's not the material things. It is your family, okay, your friends, your health your heart, your kindness, all of those things are things to be thankful for. Think about it. Where would you be if you had no family, no friends, no, no nobody? That'd be a pretty rough world, wouldn't it? So be thankful. Even though, you know, I'm not saying family is perfect, not all friends are perfect. That's just the way it is. Um, but be thankful that you have them and that they're out there for you. Yeah, I'm just gonna, again, black and white gesso, just so I can play around with this a little bit. I'm liking where this is going so far. I don't really want, like I said, I don't want the whole thing covered, so we're not gonna do that. And it's gonna be very difficult for me not to do that because I, I don't know, I just would, would I would. So, um, not only am I thankful for my hubby, he's, like I said, he's my, my savior in so many ways, but I'm also thankful for my family and my friends. Um, I have made so many friends in the art community that it's fantastic, and I don't know what I'd do without them really at this point. They're so good, um, and just good to me. So, and I hope I'm as good to them, so. Um, now... What can you do to show that you're thankful? We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Let me dry this up. All right, so I got this pretty well dry. Now, I, my, my uh, transfer is not dry enough yet. 
So what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of orange here. These are both golden acrylics and I have a little bit of the cadmium red, the medium hue, which is more on the orangey side. And what I'm going to do is just play. I'm going to take a little bit of these colors and just kind of play around here a little bit. Don't want them quite so bright. Let's back them down a little bit. And just, just going to work some of that color in there. That's a little bit too dark. I don't want it that dark. Put it on, take it off. There we go. Okay. Just want to bring a little bit more of that red out, the reddish orange. There, I like that better. Just some of this reddish orange here, maybe a little bit more orange. Too dark. There we go, that's better. Still too dark. There we go. Right. So we're going to talk about what you can do. Um, you know, when you're you're thankful again. I'm thankful for my hubs. I'm thankful for what health I do have. I mean, I'm not I'm not dying. Well, we're all dying, but um, you know, I, I yes, am I in pain 24/7? It doesn't stop. But you know what? That's okay. I still have use of my arms. I can still um, walk when I need to. You know, my health is not extremely extremely bad as far as um you know severity yes the pain is but other than that you know i think you get what i'm trying to say anyways um and there's a lot of people out there you know a lot worse off than i am and and i feel really bad for those people so now how can we give a little bit back of you know things that we're thankful for the way we can give back is in kindness okay um whether it is um, opening a door for somebody or buying somebody a cup of coffee that's in line right in front of you or you know something like that just be kind to people you know if you see an elderly person pulling into the store and you know let let them have that parking spot that's you know three feet from the door you know walk a little bit um, things like that anything you can do just to make somebody's day a little bit brighter why not you know, it would be so much better if we could all just, oops, that's all white, we'll cover that up. Um, if we could just, just be a little bit kinder to other people. Maybe send somebody a card. Um, I'll be honest, I here not too long ago, I received a postcard from a gal that I just never expected. And you have no idea how much it brightened my day. And again, thank you, girlfriend, you know who you are. Um, but things that I just did not expect. So why not do a little bit of kindness for someone else? I am loving the way this is turning out. Isn't that cool? All right, let me dry this up. I gotta see if this is, I'm not sure if this is quite dry enough yet. I don't think it is. So we might have to hold up until this dries and then we're gonna put it on here and we're gonna go ahead and finish this page. So I'm going to stop for right now, but I'll be back. All right, so now I am back with the Explorations of Me. This is pretty well um, dried. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wet it with a, just water. This is just plain water. Basically gonna wet the paper. Get it nice and wet. And just kinda rub it all in here a little bit. And let's see if this works. Yes, it does. So what I'm going to do is start rolling this paper off the transparent um, I can't think. Wow, my brain is like on fog today. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to get the transparent image. 
we're going to get rid of all of this excess paper and then that way we'll have the image to go ahead and put in our Explorations of Me journal. So instead of making you painfully sit here and watch this, I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did is I've got most of the layers of paper off this. Now, I believe there is still more layers on here that I probably could take off, but because this is the first time I've done this, I'm just going to be kind of careful about it. And what I'm going to do is this is going to go right here. I just love the way it looks. So let's get it laid down. I'm actually going to use some um, Martha Stewart decoupage and a paintbrush. Right here, and I'm gonna lay this down. Now, you know, as we were talking about things that we're grateful for, I could fill this page with words and words and words of everything I'm grateful for. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I am going to, at this point, just put this picture in here. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I like how the, if you can see, look how the lines from behind it come through. I like that. That's awesome. Okay, so that's going to stay in here. We're going to get this to dry. And then the only words I'm actually going to put in here are these. And I am so grateful that I do get to live an artful life. So I do have the ability to... Um, get the art supplies that I'd like to use and record the process and share it with everybody and I'm really grateful for that because it has given me um, something to really hold on to there, I'm going to put that right there and just enjoy I don't want to say it gives me a purpose in life but yeah it does it gives me a purpose in life you know so, um, we're going to put that down there. I get to live an artful life. All right. And then I'm going to do a little bit of doodling here and there. And then this page is going to be done. So, bear with me just a minute. Let me dry this up. And we'll get out the pens so we can do some doodles. And we'll go from there. We'll be right back. All right. So, I've got my black Posca. And basically, I'm just going to kind of go around this. Give it a sketchy look. Okay, here's my grateful to live an artful life. Alright. Um, I don't want to do a whole lot with this. I just really like the way it looks. And to be honest with you, I don't want to do a whole lot more. So here we go. Um, this month, again, this month of December, we've got our last month of the year. We're looking at what we're grateful for and what we're thankful for. And how can we pass that on? How can we be kind to others? Um, so I would love to see what you do. Don't forget, check out Gina's uh, page. She has her link in the description below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Happy holidays. And we'll talk to you next year. Bye.